Uh, what do you get when a priest walks into a kitchen? Is that a joke? It kind of sounds like a really bad joke, but in this case, you get a celebrity chef. Ryan, it <laughs> save us, because it does sound like a joke. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. Instead of a punchline, what you end up getting is some pretty amazing food here. Coming up here after the break, we're catching up with Father Leo. He has more than just a powerful message, amazing food, and folks, he went head to head with Iron Chef Bobby Flay. We'll talk about how that went in just a few minutes. Well, he learned how to cook in Italy, has his own cooking show, even beat out Iron Chef Bobby Flay on the Food Network. But instead of an apron, well, he's wearing a cassock. Ryan O'Donnell joins us live from Seton Catholic Prep. And this is an amazing story, isn't it? This is very cool. And, and you know what, priest and cooking is, is not really unusual, but when you get to a status of Father Leo Padalinghug, this is very unique. Celebrity chef here has gone head to head with Bobby Flay, at the time was the Iron Iron Chef. Yeah, he is an Iron Chef still. It's still, I guess, yeah, you never really lose that title here. And this morning, as as you talk to us about why you're here, because you don't live here in the Valley, you're, no. you're here visiting with a powerful message for the kids here at Seton Prep. You're making eggs, in a basket, is that what it's called? In no, a nest, eggs in a nest. which eggs is the first nest. thing that I learned as a kid. And I just think that when we impart knowledge to our children about how to feed themselves, something powerful can happen. Food has the power to bring people together, which is why I'm here. I had, was invited to this awesome high school to bring them closer together and not necessarily feed their bodies because we know high schoolers can eat. And I don't <laughs> have the power to multiply anything, but I had the responsibility to feed their souls. Uh -huh. And that's what I did. And that's why we're making this very simple dish uh, egg in the nest. I simply took a piece of bread, got some butter around on the, on the, on the, on the uh, hot pad here, pulled a little hole just like that. Yeah. We're gonna let that toast up, crack an egg in it, and obviously when it's time to flip, boom, just like that. And we just simply put a slice of cheese on it. For me, however, just to kind of make it a little bit more healthful and beautiful, I took a little bit of bread crumbs from the uh, piece of bread. Mince it up with some parsley. I'll top it off with a little bit of uh, tomato. It's an easy dish. Something that say, the family can do. That's what I like about it. this: is my kids could make this at home in a skillet. Yes, uh, they it can do that for fairly, you. Fairly healthy, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. When you add the well, absolutely, and I think not only will it give them a chance to do something nice for you, because as a dad, you feed them, mm -hmm. they in turn can see the great power of food when they can feed someone else. And that's kind of what I talked about with the kids. They've got to find goodness in them so that they can feed a world that is hungry for goodness. And this school produces good kids. And in fact, Father Leo caught up with a, a, basically the whole school here earlier today and talked to the kids and your message to them because you message out to, to many different uh, prep high schools out there. Is sure. Grace in food. Yeah, gracebeforemeals.com yeah. is the name of my movement. And with them today, I was talking about feeding their souls. Mm -hmm. You know, because again, I couldn't feed them with all of this stuff, but I could feed them a message on how to, to, to be a better person in this world that is hungering for goodness. And being a good person all, all together. All right, so people at home probably wondering about this Bobby Flay thing. How did you get involved <laughs> with the throwdown? Well, to be honest with you, I don't know because I'm not famous for anything and this show is all <laughs> about finding a chef who is popular in a particular dish and he actually challenged me to his popular dish which is fajitas. Interesting. I said a prayer and I beat him and I tell people I cheated. I put holy water in the marinade. <laughs> That's what I tell people. But really, it was I, I just honestly think my recipe was better for that particular dish and what Bobby did was really Bring some street cred to the fact that, yeah, while I'm a priest, I also know how to cook. And if I can bring people to the table with good food, I can feed their souls with a better that message. That is very cool. Father Leo, very cool to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you very much for coming in here and inspiring all the kids here at uh, Seton Prep. I'm sure they're going to remember this forever. That looks delicious. Yeah. Nice. All right, thank you very much. Guys, back to you. Cheers. I love that. Father Leo has some street cred. <laughs> He's got some street cool. cred, yep. Thank you very much. <laughs>